All right, guys. Well, I ran and grabbed the camera. I thought I might show you this. So here's our switch panel. If you watch all my videos, this will probably be a separate video. Um, but this is my switch panel for the top kick. I'm putting my brake controller in it. Where every time it sits like this, every time I put the, the thing in there, it was real wobbly. So what I found, I've already welded this one. There's a piece missing. So if you look inside here, try to get you guys a view to where you can see, there's this uh, extra material here. Well, this one was missing it. It was all the way down. I don't know if they cut it out for a different switch or what. And I don't know if you can see the seam there. So what I did is I've got some plastic and I've had really good luck using, you know, the same type of, I don't know what you, if this is thermoplastic or what. Um, I actually made, let me squeeze through here. First time I really tried this to do it is when I put my switch panel in my in my uh, side by side so I ended up this used to be a big pocket well I made I, I welded in a piece of plastic I cut the pocket out and then I used that plastic to make a panel and now I've got a, I've got a piece that's welded in there so I'm gonna go ahead and put like some silicone in there and smooth it out just to make it look real nice uh, but you can't even tell that that panel wasn't like that. It's super rigid. It worked really good It hasn't broken out or anything like that um, And all I'm using is a side. Whoop. All I'm using is a soldering iron um, So let me let me kind of show you I guess what I do. I don't know if this is even a thing um, I'm gonna have to have this like this how can I get you guys in here? I mean, this is the hardest part of YouTubing is trying to get the camera to where you guys can see something and I'm not gonna bump you around. Um, I really like that switch. Hang on a second. Get this switch plate sitting like that. This like this. You guys can kind of see, I guess. So I just heat up my soldering iron and I've already got this one spot welded, if you will. I've got it spot welded in the corners. And if you see, I don't know if you can see, you just kind of have to flow the plastic. It flows not really like a weld. And this one's difficult. I have to get down in this pocket because I don't know, I may end up having to weld it on this side, but I'd rather not. I'd rather just weld it in here if I can. So let me see if I can at least get some material flowed. I'm gonna have to do it separately and I, or you know, opposite of what I normally do. And basically, it's kind of like TIG welding. I don't even know if this is a thing. I've never looked for a video, nothing. And I try not to breathe in the plastic, obviously. I'm in the shop, it's well ventilated, doors open, got plenty of ventilation. In that aspect but it's this is literally kind of like TIG welding you're just puddling material and then you work it around with the soldering iron and I mean it's it seems to work real really good I don't know if there's other material to use I'm still using some of the plastic off of my Can-Am that's what this is And it seems to work really good. See, I've got all my material in there now. Sorry, I'm trying to get you guys a shot. This is extremely hard to get, get in here anyways. I'm trying to get you guys a shot. and trying to get this done at the same time. Like I said, I don't know if anybody's ever tried this or not. You can actually use this to... To work material down, obviously, it looked like I was a little high in there. And while it's warm, you can kind of tool it and get stuff cleaned off if you need to. But, well, it's still it's still not cooled down yet. I don't want to go pushing on it. Uh, let's see if I can get you guys a shot over here. 
I need to work on it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but try to get my soldering iron heated up first. Let's see if I can smooth this out, kind of weld this area in here. Really like to get a little bit of material. A little more material put in there. But that seems to be doing the trick. You know, like I said, it's just kind of like TIG welding. Kind of puddle and move material. And like I said, I don't even know if this is a thing. Let me, let me reach around the guys and put just a little bit of material in here. It's kind of difficult working around the camera and trying to get a shot and and it's not an easy process as it is. I mean, I'm sure I didn't come up with anything new. I mean, they may very well make tools for doing this type of stuff. I don't know. I just had the idea one day and it's like, man, I really wish I had some kind of plastic welder. I mean, I know they make plastic welders. See, that's the part we just put in. It's solid. I mean, she's welded in. It looks like I could probably take some of this material here. kind of want a bit you want to melt both the, the parent materials and then flow your material in it and just like welding but I'm gonna try to clean this up with the razor knife just a little bit kind of get some sharp edges to it and stuff and then we'll try our piece to go in there actually I guess I could pull this one out and try it over there uh, but anyways uh, let me clean it up a little bit and we'll be right back okay so I have not tried this yet um, here's our switch blank that we made fit or we made the uh, brake controller thing fit and before I put it in there and it was you know real loose because obviously it, it you know didn't have anything to engage it all the way back here if it had tabs up here it would have been fine um, so that may be what happened maybe somebody cut it out for a normal switch that didn't have the tabs all the way back like that maybe it was to engage up there but Anyways, let's test this. First time. Oh, it's promising. I've got a little too much, a little too much material. It's a little too high. Um, let me see, let me see. Let's, let's just use the solder gun. See if we can get in here. Good enough. Or I can work that material down. Probably honestly just in the middle there. utility knife. A little more over here maybe. Okay. 
Okay, let's work a little bit down here. So close. There it goes. Got engaged. Man, just a little bit more. Now we gotta get something to release that tab. them down just a little more. Take my utility knife. Just clean up. Clean the burr up in there or whatever you want to call it. A little more, a little more. Maybe I didn't get any of it pulled off that time. I don't know. Wait for my iron to get pot. There it is. One click, the bottom one still click. Top one. That's good. Oh, bam! What's that? Nice and tight. Fixed. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing back there, but it's super rigid. It holds that switch in nice and tight now. And you know, it's 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 fixed. To me, that's fixed. So, anyways, there's a. Uh, there's doing some plastic welding. I might, I might clean it up just a bit because that still is pretty tight. If I ever have to take it apart, I might fight that. Um, so I may, I think I'm just going to clean it up a touch more. But uh, I just figured I'd show you guys real quick doing some plastic welding. Uh, just low buck. Got a soldering iron. It's a Weller 140, 100 watt. Um, you know, just, I've had it for years and years and years. Um, it'd be nice if it kind of had like a flat tip, maybe, you know, something like a spoon to where you could really get in there and maybe a point. Um, but anyways, this works really good. So if you need to fix some plastic pieces with, uh, you know, with minimal stuff, you need some plastic off of a console or something. This is still stuff out of the Can-Am that I kept around. Just in case I had to do this again, and I literally cut, um, you know, two pieces out of something like that. I just cut it on my bandsaw, and that's what I use for a filler piece. And then I welded it in, and there you go. All right, thanks for watching.